All right, seconds, this is to help you with the Tory door. Some crazy stuff in here, right, for Carmen. Um, the beginning, just be careful, you're on the off beat. So you have one and, 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 yeah. So the first violins have one and a two E, and a one and a two E, and a one. So to give you a sense of what that sounds like, you have a one, two, one, and a two E, and a one, and a two E, and a one, and a two E, and a yeah, and be careful because if you check your key, you have G sharps. So make sure that you're playing those G sharps. If I were you, I would just take a minute to go through and write in the fingers that I need to. Anybody playing the bottom half, if you see D sharp, that's low one. If you see E sharp, you can play low two because it's the same thing as F natural. So at measure six, if you're playing the bottom, you have high two. Three, two, two, low two, one. Okay, that way you have that E sharp as the same as F natural, okay? Great, going on to measure 13, you have to go either from a G sharp to a C natural, yeah, either in first position or second position. So I would take some time to try to practice that and making sure I get there. And I wouldn't, if I'm practicing, I'm not gonna sit there and do this, right? Finding the note, just play quick notes. And then if I don't have it, I can fix it and make sure that once I get it, I see where I am. And singing it would also help. Bum, bum, yeah. Okay, but once I get into second position, if I'm playing the top part, I have four, 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 one, zero, one, four, 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 four one, zero, one, zero. Back to first. One, two, high three. One, two, one, zero. Okay, so. what you want. Um, if you're playing the bottom part, you just stay in first position. G sharp this time. Okay, great. Um, going on to 17, this is super, super tricky, so be careful. Um, you have to really think about your enharmonics so that way you understand this passage. So from 17, you have A, C sharp, A, G sharp, high three, F sharp, then go back to E sharp, which is the same thing as F natural. And then D sharp, low one. So you see my fingers have a big step there. Then I'm gonna go to C sharp with fourth finger instead of three because I moved back so much. Okay, then you go back to low one, D sharp. Two with uh, E sharp, F natural. Then go up for F sharp. C sharp, B, A, B, G sharp, C sharp with three, three. Okay, so again, I will show that to you. Zero, two, zero, three. I would probably feel more comfortable doing two. Okay, that way I move that two back just a tiny bit. But you have to recognize that E sharp is the same thing as F natural. Okay, they're just enharmonic equivalents. Knowing that makes it easier because we know that F natural is just low two. D sharp is low one, it's the same thing as E flat, okay? So just be careful that you understand that two, one, two situation you have in most places, which is a big space, okay, amongst the string. Good, at 25 you have this, one E and two E and one E and two E and one and a one two. Sounds like this starting on open D. F sharp D G. Sorry G sharp. My bad. Momentary lapse there. So maybe if if you were me, you might write in a G sharp there just to remember. But one more time at twenty five. Okay, and if you're playing the bottom octave, do not play open G, play low one. Because A flat and G sharp are the same. So you have. Okay, and then back to. And one, and a two, one, and a two, and. And then you go back to rest, bum, bum, bum. Um, okay, and if you look at the end, 47 to 51 is exactly what we've just covered. So do the best you can to really focus on these little sections. You don't always have to practice every single little thing, but these harder passages, I would definitely make some notes on and, and figure out ways to practice, whether it be in rhythms, whether it be air bowing and singing it, whatever you need to do to make sure that you get it right. All right, good luck.